Patrick's Day. Watch it. It is fun for the whole family. Yay! Thank you for that advertisement, Father Jim. Let's quiet ourselves on this Tuesday as we begin our morning prayer. Hear our prayers, O Lord. Renew our hearts. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us that to become his followers, we must love not only our friends, but also our enemies. This approach to love challenges us to become better Christians. It is hard to love someone who has hurt us or doesn't deserve our love. Nevertheless, Jesus invites us to share in the radical relationship of love. In the, name of the Father, Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord saves the Christian spirit. I the Lord the saves the Christian spirit. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. What can then be radiant to your faces shall never be ashamed. The Lord, the Lord saves the Christian spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse. You pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also and from you anyone takes who takes away your coat do not withhold even your shirt give to everyone who begs for you and if anyone takes away your goods do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them to do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them but love your enemies do good and run expecting nothing in return your reward will be great you will be great and you will be children of the most high be merciful just as your father is merciful the gospel of the lord praise, praise you lord, lord jesus christ. christ think about this silently in your heart think about who might be consider it an enemy. An enemy is not necessarily someone you dislike or disagree with. That might be someone you don't really know. How might you love him or her. Let us pray to God for need in the needs of others. Our family, neighborhood, and the world. For each need we say, Lord, hear our prayers. For the healing of those suffering from the coronavirus, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For, God, for our school community. 
on our Lenten journey, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, baseball plays away at Our Lady of Lords, and girls soccer plays home against Our Lady of Lords. On Wednesday, lacrosse plays away from Durham Academy, and softball plays home against St. Timothy. Come out and support your teams. We have some birthdays to celebrate for today and tomorrow. In fifth grade, Dylan Ribble. Yeah, In first grade, Gwenna Ramstetter. Yay! 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 What do we say to our birthday people for today and tomorrow? Happy birthday! Please join me in saying the prayer before the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nice and well. Most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart. And give me a correct faith, a certain hope, a perfect charity, sense, and knowledge, so that I may carry out your holy and true command. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a tulip Tuesday. Tulip Tuesday! Yay for tulips!